so pretty. Spring and summer, oh, and it's really roomy. I'm scared to pull this thing out. The pepperoni, this pepperoni is really tuning into my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shireen and I bring you fashion and lifestyle video content. It is Saturday. I am so glad the weekend is here, okay? It is Saturday afternoon. I'm about to go out and about and we'll talk about where I'm going in a little bit, but this week was so crazy and not in a bad way, but it was the first week that I worked with both my full-time job as well as my client. If you are new here, I mentioned in a previous vlog that I got a great opportunity. I am doing some consulting outside of my full-time job and outside of creating content. So life has definitely gotten busier for me. And so this past week was the first week where I actually worked with, you know, of course my full-time job and as well as um, consulting my new client so it was busy and in addition to that I worked out every day <laughs> every single day during the week Monday through Friday now despite me being in the gym you know regularly for years I have not done a five day in a row workout in I don't know how long. It's been years since I've done something like that, probably like 10 years. I, I usually will go a few days, take a break, another few days, take a break. You know, I, that's kind of the cadence that I've developed over the past four to five years. This week, I don't know, I just was really motivated to work out. And so I worked out cardio and weight training, um, for the entire week. The only day that I only did cardio and I did not do weight training was Wednesday. I just wanted to give my body a break from lifting heavy weights. However, y'all, I see such a difference in my body and the way my clothes are starting to fit. It is ridiculous. My jeans, um, a lot of my jeans are too big. Um, some of the jeans that were so snug are now fitting more comfortably. I, I feel so much better in my clothes. I definitely know that is a huge motivation for me. And I'm, you know, now taking the weekend off to rest my body. And then I'll be back in on Monday again. And I honestly want to keep that cadence up when it comes to working out. I really want to work out Monday through Friday and just resting my weight training on Wednesday and just do cardio. My body is exhausted. It is in rest mode, but it's it's tired. I'm um, not going to lie between working to, you know, different jobs basically as well as working out every day. My body is going through something, okay? <laughs> um, I also mentioned in a previous vlog that I'm on my fitness pal. I'm back on my fitness pal. If you're new here and you're unfamiliar with my fitness pal, it is basically similar to Weight Watchers without the points. So I've been on it um, many years ago and it worked for me. And so it basically um, gives you goals when it comes to your calories and your nutrition. And you can also place your exercise and you're basically logging everything you eat. That has been a game changer for me, guys, like straight up. I've only been on my fitness pal for maybe now one or two weeks. And I've been working out regularly for one or two weeks as well. And it's made a huge difference in my body already in a matter of a few weeks. So if you guys are struggling when it comes to your nutrition and fitness. I definitely encourage you guys to try out my fitness pal. They do have a one month free trial and I'm doing that right now 
but I am going to stick with it and I'll definitely make that investment. And I think it's like $20 a month. It's worth it for me. It is definitely worth it. I need more accountability when it comes to what I eat. And I feel like I've been working out, but I wasn't seeing the results because I was snacking too much. And so anywho, um, now it is Saturday. And so I'm in rest mode. I just wanna take care of some errands and go to the store, see touch and feel pretty things you know we love to shop around here i'm about to run out because tonight we are celebrating my god sister's birthday um and this is my god sister who actually got me the new client i'm actually working um with her job with her organization so not only am i about to run out and get her her birthday gift i'm also going to be getting her a gift just to say thank you because she brought me a huge opportunity a huge opportunity so with that being said, we will be headed to a few stores. Um, I definitely wanna go to like TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Um, my god sister is not like a fashion, fashion girl. We buy her clothes. Like basically every holiday we buy her outfits and she always loves it. She does not like shopping, but she likes what we pick out for her. So me, my sister, and my mom, we usually always shop for her when it comes to gifts and things of that nature. She loves handbags though. So I definitely wanna get her a really nice handbag. And I know like TJ Maxx and Marshalls usually have nice ones. There's a Nordstrom's rack that actually just opened up not too far from where I live, um, maybe like five minutes, okay? And the line, I saw the line on, someone sent me an Instagram video or a TikTok and the line was crazy, okay, the opening day. So I'm hoping that it's calmed down, but it is Saturday. So if it's too crazy, then I'll wait before I go in there and show you guys. But um, if not, then we'll go and check it out. But there's a lot of other stores around here as well. So we'll be going there. I do not like the mall, so I'm not gonna go to the mall today. <laughs> I do not like the mall, y'all. I do not like the mall at all. Um, but there are like a standalone H&M, there's TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, Target, there's American Eagle, Sephora. There's a lot of different stores um, not too far from me, so we'll definitely be perusing. I do need to go jean shopping, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to do that today. Um, so yeah, guys, and we'll see if I feel like thrifting later. I may peek my head in, but I'm not really not in the thrifting mood today. Um, so yeah, and I'm really not in a huge shopping mood. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just exhausted <laughs> from the week. Um, my body is tired. Even as I'm talking to you now, I feel like my, my muscles are just kind of sore. So anywho, before we head out, let me go over what I'm wearing. Definitely very chill mode. I don't even have makeup on. By the way, we're gonna take her to Escovich. That is the restaurant that I always talk to you guys about. It is a Jamaican restaurant. My family is from Jamaica, so we are very critical when it comes to um, eating Jamaican food out and about, and that place is really, really good. So we've been going there a lot lately. <laughs> So, and I'll make sure I'll link it in the description box if you guys are in Georgia or in the Atlanta area and you want to check it out, but it's really, really good and we're very critical. So we're taking her there later on today. All right, before we head out, let me share what I'm wearing as normal. This hat is, oh gosh, probably from Amazon years ago, this Yankee fitted. Um, these earrings are from Live In Fearless, black owned. I've talked about it on my channel so many times. My usual necklace from Nordstrom's Rack and rings from Nordstrom's Rack. Um, this jacket is from Zara, got years ago. It is a cropped denim jacket with a unfinished distressed finishing. Um, these brooches I just placed on them, they're thrifted. I thrifted them recently. I don't know if they're vintage, but they're two separate brooches. I'm wearing this bodysuit from Amazon and I may wear it tonight, uh, like a different color tonight, but they're very, very comfortable, guys. I've talked about this on my channel before. I'll make sure I link the video where I did a more thorough review. This crossbody um, pouch bag is from Gucci. I'm wearing these um, Gucci Princetown slides. Again, I just thought they were easy breezy to wear.
And then I did a mix um, when it comes to fragrance, Miss Dior. And then I also layered it with Flower Bomb by Victor Wolf. So that is the look today, guys. Very chill, no makeup, fresh face. That is the look for today. So let's head on out and see what we find. So the weather is very interesting. It is like in the mid 60s, but there is some overcast. It's kind of rainy. Um, it's not raining right now though, which is a good thing. I'm hopefully this weather holds up. But what I wanted to wear tonight was the brown version of this bodysuit with my vintage, well, I don't know if it's vintage, but the trench that I thrifted um not too long ago i actually recently washed it and disinfected it and i took the lining out of it um because it had a detachable lining and so yeah guys it is such a cute look together i also actually tried that coat with a number of different looks um mostly monochromatic looks so i think i'm gonna do a um a short video showing the different ways to wear that trench because there's so many different ways I can wear it. So um, that was one option for tonight. And then the other was wearing it with this bodysuit by Skims with some denim and then just a trench coat. But I think tonight will be a great night to wear the chocolate trench, okay? It will be a great night. Number one, it may rain tonight, but it's not too warm for it and not too cold you know what i mean it's it's like the perfect weather for a trench without lining like a light trench so i'm thinking that's what i'm gonna wear i did have some oatmeal this morning as you guys saw and a little bit of orange juice i'm probably gonna get a little hungry um after the first store to be honest with you but i am sticking to my my fitness pal um goals in my log so even through the weekend even with what we even with me not working out um don't get me wrong i'm gonna eat out tonight but it's not really unhealthy um the food that i plan on eating every time i go to escovich it's the same meal that i get because it's so good it's the rosemary ginger um whole snapper it is amazing um i don't think i'm gonna do like any sugary cocktails tonight i may stick to red wine or a drink called sorrow and it's basically a traditional jamaican drink where it's made out of his hibiscus natural hibiscus but of course they do add sugar and then of course rum um i'm not sure what escovich typically um makes it like how they typically make theirs but i know in our jamaican household we typically um make it with a lot of sugar and we of course spike it with rum so anywho um that is basically the nutrition plan for the day <laughs> i think for lunch um I, I actually wanted to have make make a second breakfast brunch that's what i've been doing um this week well actually 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 this past week, I've seen some great results with my body and I've been doing small meals. That's what I've been doing. I started off the week prior having like a more brunch style lunch because lunch was always so difficult for me to figure out and keep it healthy and I would get tired of salads. Um, and so what I was doing, what I was doing was just making um, like having my oatmeal as an early breakfast and then midday um, after my workout or before, you know, usually after my workout, I would have um, like some eggs or egg whites with some like turkey sausage or, you know, turkey bacon or something like that or just some mushrooms and vegetables. Um, recently, I've been doing different um, healthy meals and it's been working for me um, and I'm hungry more often but I'm fueling my body with foods that are feeding um, and repairing my muscles because I have been working out so much so I've been doing like avocado toast but on Ezekiel bread so I will take half of an Ezekiel muffin and Ezekiel bread if you guys are unfamiliar is basically an all natural um, bread there's no flour no bleach anything in there and it's much it's it's much less carbs so half of the muffin is like 
13 grams of carbs or something like that so um and that's and it's filling you know so i love easy kill bread it is it, it is expensive but that's the only bread that i eat to be honest with you so i would do that with some avocado on top and just season some avocado um and spread it like that i would i was also doing um some salmon like smoked salmon kind of like a nova lox but not on a bagel on ezekiel bread so basically ezekiel bread or ezekiel muffin because i like the muffins versus the regular bread loaf slices um it's kind of like my replacement for all things bread <laughs> um even when I make a turkey sandwich, I'll use an Ezekiel muffin. So it's expensive, don't get me wrong, but for me it's worth it, you know, um, versus having regular bread that bloats me and causes me to gain weight. So yeah, I would have like the salmon with a little bit of cream cheese, um, tomato, on, you know, a little bit of onion and some capers. And that was like another mini meal. What other kind of mini meals have I been having? A little bit of Greek yogurt with some um, granola. Um, I've had that with like some other fruits like blueberries. I am very cautious about my yogurt intake because I don't like to do a lot of dairy at one time. So I would normally go to non-dairy yogurt, but it has a lot more sugar than the Greek yogurt that I have been, um, that I've been, um, eating so i kind of have to do a healthy balance between the non-dairy and the dairy i love cream cheese but i'm very careful with how much cream cheese i do intake at one time i like cheese period but i just have to be really really careful and not only did i work out every day this week but i was on my period and i worked out the first day of my period to the very last day okay and that is crazy because typically I don't work out, especially the first day of my period. I do not, but I was able to do it. And I think because I was eating healthy and I've been eating healthy and I've been working out, I didn't really have a uh, bad or horrible cramps this go around. I did take some leave like the first day, but after that, I didn't even take any medicine. So um, yeah, I've been definitely seeing results when it comes to that part of my body as well so I think I first want to go into um maybe Target to see if I can find like a nice outfit for my god sister and I forgot to mention that I'm um in the same area as the place that we're going tonight where I'll be headed to the same area and it probably would make sense for me to just get dressed for the night before I go all the way out there. So that may be an option. I think I may, um, after, why are they in the middle of the damn road? Like pick a side. Um, after I, um, come to Target, Marshalls and TJ Maxx, I may go home and just chill and then leave a little bit early um, to go to H&M and American Eagle right before we go to dinner because I don't think it's gonna make sense for me to go all the way out there just to come back out here and then just to go back out there. Um, also too, if you're familiar with the area that I'm at or the if you are familiar with the area that I'm in, you know how much traffic piles up like traffic can be very crazy and i'm already like i literally just got on the road and i'm seeing how people are driving insane and there's always accidents around here so let me knock on some wood because i will not be getting into an accident today um but you just have to be really alert when it comes to in, in defensive when you're driving around here because there's always accidents. But yeah, I think I may do that. I think I may um, just go out there once I'm dressed for dinner and just kind of, you know, I may not want to try on a bunch of clothes, but I really don't feel like trying on a bunch of clothes. And I didn't mention this, you guys. You guys can tell that my energy is probably a little lower 
in this video and it's because I'm just kind of exhausted from the week and um, I've developed like allergies, you know, like pollen induced allergies um, in recent years and this week it started bothering me and I know it's allergies because I don't feel sick. I just feel like congested a little bit and you may be able to um, you may be able to hear it in my voice, but I was, I've been able to work out and everything um, without feeling like my body is sick. So I know it's allergies. So anyway, let's go ahead and go into Target and then Marshalls. I did not um, mention that the lady who comes and cleans my home, she ha owns the company um, with her other family members that come in and clean my home like once a month. Her step um, son passed recently. So I'm also looking for a sympathy card for her as well. I'm looking for I can't open it. Sitting like some fine wine. X broke your heart, you can hear that shit with mine. Niggas be calling, but you never mind. Cause you all mine. Pull up to my house late night, hit the brake lights in the shade right. I know what's up on your mind. Pour a couple shots with the Henny in my cup. And a couple moments later, we'll be winning up a twine. Something that's a vine. Have to give it time, but I'm patient. I just wanna see on your spaceship. Plus, you done the earth and you never on some face shit. Splitting half the field, I don't remember the impatient. Basic. Would you take a time, but you pace it. And you want the one, got a little copy patient. All right, so you guys saw that I purchased the um, shirt dress. It's a denim shirt dress. I feel like it will fit her. Um, so yeah, I thought that was really cute. I'm gonna head to TJ Maxx. Marshalls is right next door, but I feel like I'll have better luck at TJ Maxx. If I don't, then I'll make come back to Marshalls. I also purchased this um, scale <laughs> because I typically don't weigh myself outside of going to the doctors, but because I'm on this new journey with my fitness pal and it does track your weight loss or gain, I definitely want to start weighing myself more to see, you know, just how my body is changing weight wise. Like I definitely know that I'm losing inches and my clothes are fitting better or getting too big, but I do want to also track my weight. I have probably... I haven't had a scale in my home 
in a good 10 to 15 years. I'm just so anti-scale just because I would get obsessed and weigh myself every day. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just weigh myself when I go to the doctors <laughs> or just judge based off of how I look, how I feel and how my clothes fit. But I decided to start weighing myself. I don't know if you guys heard me while I was in the store, but um, in addition to getting my god sister her birthday card, I did purchase a sympathy card because the lady um, who cleans my home, it's like her and her family, um, they did have a, they had a loss recently and so I want to give her a card and like just like a gift, use a gift card or something um, just to, you know, express my condolences. She's been cleaning my home for over a year now. She's so sweet. I mean she's so sweet and um i trust her with my home you know what i mean so i definitely want to give her something because um she did lose a family member recently it's her um husband's son so her stepson um she did lose recently um and, and she's still working which is crazy i will be seeing her monday or her family members monday she she's not always there but her family members would show up and they're supposed to come on Monday. So I wanted to have something for her. And then what else did I get? Oh, I got this Hillshire snack um, small plate set. It is with the uncured pepperoni, um, white cheddar cheese, and then some toasted round crackers. I don't usually eat the toasted round crackers because I like to save my carbs, okay? And I like to save my carbs for unprocessed carbs. So... I typically will get these or I started getting these recently I would get them from Walmart but I just saw them that they're in Target and I would just eat the pepperoni with the cheese um, and like I mentioned I try not to do too much dairy so I have to be careful with it now they did have some better um, some better combo snack plates with like almonds and just other things in there but with salami and I I don't think I've ever tried salami or pastrami or any of those other kinds of meats. I know that I hate the smell of them. I can't stand the smell of them or when someone smells like them. I don't know, it's, it's really indescribable, but I do like pepperoni. So I tend to always get the pepperoni, but I got this because I felt myself getting a little hungry and I just didn't wanna go and purchase anything random and eat out and I didn't want to eat out oh excuse me I didn't want to eat anything random that would throw me off okay and I am feeling really good and confident right now so I kind of want to keep it going so I just bought this just to have in the car while I um, go to the other side of the parking lot to TJ Maxx and that is all I purchased let me see yeah that was all I purchased so I got half of her gift I definitely want to get her something else or some more pieces you know just kind of like to 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 express my uh happy birthday as well as a thank you you know because she did she was the reason why I did get this client you know so but yeah this is such a good snack and it fills you up. I've been loving pepperoni lately, period. Like, I don't know why. I can't do too much of it because it is, I think it has like a lot of sodium maybe, but Target wasn't that crazy neither for a Saturday. And I think it's the weather. I think it's the weather. That's why I really don't mind going out when it's rainy or overcast like this. I do not mind. I do need to get an umbrella. Every vlog I say this and I never get one. So I do need to get an umbrella too, especially for tonight. So I didn't see anything at TJ Maxx. Um, nothing stuck out and the purses looks like they were completely ran through. And I guess it is Saturday afternoon. So people probably did a lot of shopping this morning. I am gonna go next door to Nordstrom's Rack, but it's a little bit of, 
it's not necessarily directly next door that's why i'm back in the car and i'm actually gonna drive if i don't see anything in Nordstrom's rack then i'll go back to marshall's but Nordstrom's rack should have something because i feel like tj maxx just like the like i went there for the purses because i want to get her a bag oh, excuse me and the racks were kind of empty i saw some things that were cute but i know tj maxx potential well, they're open. I see people coming out and their parking lot is pretty full. I know Crumble Cookies is right next door. I know they're happy to have all this new traffic. I know they're happy. I'm not a big fan of Crumble Cookies. Not a big fan at all. Yeah, Nordstrom Track is open. So we're gonna see what they have. out of there sweating <laughs> oh my god let me back out of here because the car is waiting but that Nordstrom track is bananas bananas okay it's not as chaotic as I thought it would be and coming from a person who worked in retail okay I mean don't get me wrong the environment was different working at Gucci but I did work at Saks Fifth Avenue as well and so I understand the chaos even amongst, you know, cause it has similar brands that Saks has. Um, Saks just has more luxury, but I get the chaos. So I'm very patient with those who work in retail. Um, but mission was accomplished. I'm so glad that I did not settle for any of the bags in TJ Maxx or, you know, anywhere else. It, you know, I just didn't see anything that really captured my attention. 
but um kirk geiger i think that's his name i'll correct it i, I apologize if i'm pronouncing it wrong i'll place it on the screen but he just has a really nice collection um and i feel like his in collection is improving i remember when his bags first started becoming popular um but yeah, he, he just has a really nice collection. So I did get a bag for myself as well. And I'm not a handbag person, so I don't purchase handbags for myself often. So when I do see a bag that I feel like I'm just drawn to, I do get it. Um, and I feel like it's a, a good price point. It was about uh, 150 um, and it was a, a nice big summer bag. Um, I think it's perfect for travel. I do take care of my things. So although it's kind of like a lighter, color i'm not worried about it getting dirty or anything i don't plan on putting it on the floor of an airplane or anything like that so i'll show it to you guys in more detail when i get back to the house um but it is about four o'clock and i can even turn on this air it's about four o'clock and this is perfect timing because i get to chill a little bit before i get dressed to go out um tonight for her birthday but I'm very happy with her, um, with what I purchased for her. I got her that, um, it kind of looks like a snakeskin print metallic smaller purse. I was going to get the tote, but um, when I FaceTimed my sister, she was like, no, get her something a little bit more fashion forward. Because it's hard to get something for somebody who's, you just don't know. You know, like I didn't want to put myself too much out there. The bag that I got for myself, I just would not have gotten for her because it may have been too much for her but I do think that the animal print the snakeskin print bag um, metallic is subtle enough but fashion forward enough if that makes sense like it's a good balance um, so yeah I'm happy with her purchase with you know those items that I purchased for her all right guys so I'm back home and I'm actually doing better with my time than I thought it's actually only 3 15 so I have plenty of time to I need to clean my kitchen up a little bit wash some dishes um, figure out what I'm wearing and just chill a little bit. I've been watching this series on Netflix. I'll place it in the, it's called The Marked Heart. Y'all, that thing is so good. If I'm mistaken, I'll correct myself as normal on screen. But I wanted to do a quick little haul so you guys can see what I purchased. Um, let me show you. So this is the denim shirt dress that I purchased for my god sister for her birthday in addition to the handbag. So I thought this was cute and it wasn't, it's it's a simple, p easy piece that I know she will wear. Um, I also got this from Target and boy, am I scared to pull this thing out. <laughs> I am scared to pull this thing out, okay? Because I just know, like I'm gonna be obsessed and then, like uh, weighing yourself can totally destroy your mood and discourage you if you don't see the scale going in a certain direction, but you're working hard at it, even if your clothes are fitting looser and your body is looking slimmer and you're losing inches. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take it out. I'm not going to, I'm going to put it somewhere though that's more inconvenient. So I don't think I'm going to put it in my master bathroom. I think I'm going to put it in one of my guest bathrooms where I kind of have to think about it before I actually wait, you know, go and weigh myself. It's not necessarily somewhere so easily accessible where I'm going to be looking at it every day. So this is the scale though. I, I desperately needed one. I wish I weighed 134, <laughs> what it reads on the package. Um, um, and then, so this is the bag that I got for myself, guys. This bag is so beautiful. So it elongates so I can wear it. Um, probably not, I don't think it will well, I guess it does fit over, you know, my body for a crossbody, but it's not the most comfortable. But I absolutely love this bag. I think it's perfect for the spring and summer. Oh, and it's really roomy inside as well. Oh, I love this. I actually saw it in someone's cart, y'all. I saw it in someone's cart and I went back for it. And I got the last one. So I'm so happy I was able to pick this up. Yes. So this will be my like little summer 
um, my spring summer bag. And I just love the material, the fabric. Oh, this is so beautiful. And you know, when I do color, especially in the summer, this is one of the colors, this like lime green is one of the colors that I love for the summertime. And then for my god sister, whose birthday we're celebrating, I also got her this. Um, like I mentioned, she is the reason why I got my new client recently. She introduced me to um, her organization and they hired me on to consult them. And so I had to do a little bit more and get her something that was really, I think this is such a cute bag. And by the time you see this video, she would have already seen it. So, cause she does, um, she is a subscriber, but this is the inside. It's called the Shore Ditch bag. And this, um, this one, by the way, guys, is called the Kensington, the Kensington. So if you want to look it up, I will um, try to link both of these just in case you're interested, even though I purchased it in store. I thought this bag was beautiful. You guys know how I feel about snake print and the fact that it has like a metallic vibe in mixed metal. I thought that it's not the bag. This bag would have been a risk. She may not have worn this bag. This bag, I feel like she'll wear it. So we'll see tonight. We'll see how she likes it tonight. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Oh, I just purchased that jacket i'll insert a clip here that i showed you guys while at nordstrom's rack y'all they didn't have my size in store i the the that that jacket feels so good it's like a trench coat but it's extremely thin the material feels like silk and it is on sale so it was originally 160 it is on sale for 80 dollars. let me see what the fabric is Oh crap, hold on one second guys. Let me look on my phone and look at the fabric. And I'll, I'll most likely show it to you guys once it arrives. It's supposed to arrive um, towards the end of the month, March 20th it says, which is kind of far out. Well, is it far out? I don't know. But anyway, um, the fabric says 100% polyester, but it feels like silk. So I don't know. I hope I ordered the right coat because what I felt felt like silk, but I may be wrong. I know it felt like silk. That's how good it felt. Y'all, that, that coat is everything and more in person. So I ordered it literally when I um, got into my garage. I looked it up. They had a large and extra large available. I just ordered the large, but it was originally, I think, one... Let me see. It actually was originally 190 Oh. Yeah, so it was originally 190, you guys, and I got it for 80 bucks. Um, um I I had to. When I saw it, I was just like, I got to have this. Got to have this. If you see something in store and they do not have your size, immediately go on the website, y'all. Immediately go to the website and order it. <laughs> okay? Anyway, that completes this mini um this mini haul. I'm about to go straighten up, chill out a little bit, get a little snack, um, and then I will pick up with you guys a little later. Um, and I'll probably show you the snack that I choose to make so you guys can kind of see um, what I've been eating. I really don't like doing videos dedicated to meals and food. I just don't enjoy doing those videos. Not right now, anyway. So I'll probably infuse like what I been eating into all of my little vlogs here but um or to all of my vlogs not little vlogs all of my vlogs here so um yeah so I'll show you guys so I think I'm gonna have to return this scale because it's not working it says that you literally just go um apply one foot on there or just enough pressure to turn it on and put it against you know an even flat surface and I did multiple areas of my house. My house is hardwood floors, so there's even flat surfaces everywhere and it's not working, you guys. So this will be going back to Target. It is by Taylor. If you guys have this scale, let me know what you think about it, but I am definitely gonna return this because even if it does start working later on, I just don't feel like 
with it giving me trouble now, it pop, will most likely give me trouble later on. So I will return this and get another one. Maybe I don't need a scale. <laughs> Maybe this is a sign. Girl, just keep doing what you're doing. Don't even bother with a scale. But no, I really wanted a scale. I really did. But this one is giving me a hard time. I'm going to try it again. And if, if it does not work, then um, I'm just going to return it. Up and leave. Take a lot of courage just to live out your dreams. Bigger picture I could see if I just close my eyes. Have the foresight to believe Time don't move backwards, it speeds To the future fearlessly Charging forward when I open my mouth oh, I Hey, what's up? there i feel like i still have a morning voice and it is literally after five o'clock on sunday <laughs> i have been laid up all day when i tell you first of all let's talk about last night guys so it is after i didn't even realize the time went back i mean the time went forward today that's how out of it I've been in the past over the past week I just did not realize it I've been so out of the loop when it comes to just what's going on in the world but anyway so um yeah so I am on my way to the grocery store because I want to make some flatbread pizza but I want to make a very healthy version I do have all the ingredients um that I want to place on my flatbread pizza and I'll um talk to you guys about that as I'm doing it uh, a little bit later but I do want to make sure that the bread that I get is the healthiest I can find I was thinking about using my Ezekiel bread and making little mini pizza rounds but I want a traditional more of a traditional flatbread pizza so I am willing to go with an um you know an un uh, processed like keto version I really don't want to do too much processed foods but I'm willing to do that but anyway so I'm just gonna go to Walmart because I know they usually have a wide selection of different breads um, for what I'm looking for but everything else I pretty much have and I'm thinking about getting a meat or something that I need um, to cook for tomorrow um, so I don't have to worry about that maybe get some avocados so I've been doing a lot of avocados for healthy snacks but anyway um, so last night, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna park really quickly and then we'll chat. And I'm losing battery as well. So I won't be able to chat for too long. Okay, let me pull over here. Okay, so last night, guys, hold on. I don't like the way the light is. <laughs> I need to turn around. I need better lighting. Better lighting. Okay. That might be a little bit better. I don't know. So last night we went to Escovich, um to celebrate my god sister. As you guys saw in the previous clips, the family, we all had a great time, y'all. Like a great, great time. Um, I did not film my get ready with me or outfit of the day because it was pure chaos. So I just wore an outfit that I know worked for me in the past. And so I'll insert some footage. Um, I wore the same outfit. I just did not wear all of the um, the same necklaces that I wore in this video. So I wore this outfit because the outfit that I was planning on wearing, it was just too warm for it. And I'm so glad I did not wear it. I like literally changed five minutes before I left the house just because I felt like I may have been too hot. And that's exactly when I, when I went to the restaurant it was warm in there so i'm so glad i stuck to basically what felt right like the outfit just wasn't 
ready you know for me to wear as well like it just did not feel right and it wasn't ready and so one thing that i've learned and i'm continuing to be reminded of is that some pieces that you may purchase for a particular outfit sometimes it's just not ready to be worn like you don't have all the pieces to the puzzle you know what i mean and that's how i felt about my outfit yesterday in addition for in addition to it being a little too warm as well um, so I didn't film like any get ready with me or anything like that. I just wore this white um, top from Zara, some jeans, and wore it with some, what shoes did I wear? I think I wore my fur, my Prince Town furs that I've always show you guys with the zebra, zebra print. I think that's, what, yeah, that's what I wore. <laughs> so anyway, wore that outfit, had a great time um the you saw the fish that i had was so good i really never eat most of it while i'm in the restaurant and today i had it for lunch and it was so good it was perfect for lunch um but yeah but i wanted to make sure i came out to the store to prepare dinner before um you know before i got too hungry so that's what we're about to do now but last night i had like three three glasses of red wine and I was done I was done and I wasn't tipsy or drunk it, it wasn't that kind of done it was just my body just needs a full day to recover from a night like that and we didn't even stay out late it was literally dinner I wasn't up dancing or anything but it was a good time I don't know I don't know I guess maybe I'm just getting older and just can't do it like how I used to but I needed all day to recover today <laughs> um but we had a, an amazing time I'm so glad my god sister you know enjoyed herself like she she really enjoyed herself I had my hair in a ponytail um as you can see I still have this Yankee fitted on I need to order some more of these this is the thing because I had I wear extensions and my head is like shaped a little funny I mean that's it is what it is you know what I mean I know my flaws <laughs> so um regular size hats that are just sold in the store usually don't fit me comfortably so especially when I have extensions like if I didn't have the extensions in it would be fine so I usually like order my hats like the extra large or whatever is the large size on like Amazon or any other like hat vendor or hat store so I need to get some more of these just because they are you know my savior when it comes to bad hair days and I desperately need to get a reinstall so I have so much new growth that my hair is not laying down right even though um, my sister recently washed it it's just not laying down the way it would normally lay down because I have so much new growth so um, I'm gonna get my hair done soon get a reinstallment but until then it might be a ponytail until then i rather do a slick back ponytail, you know, with clean hair, not my hair looking disgusting or anything, but rather than trying to force, a, you know, a style that just does not look right because of the amount of new growth that my hair has. I also need a fresh dye. Um, so those grays will be concealed, okay? But anywho, I'm at Walmart. I'm about to get the flatbread. I had to check my fridge to make sure I had everything. I want to make it kind of like a margarita style flatbread. So with uh, pepperoni and I've been eating pepperoni like I discussed early in the video. So I do have pepperoni. I have mozzarella cheese. Um, I have spinach to put a little spinach and the tomato sauce. I have all that. Um, I think I may need a little bit of onions. I'm not sure. I also have mushrooms, but I don't think I'm going to do all of that. I think I want to keep it simple and maybe just do pepperoni. So we're going to do that tonight. Um, I'm going to get more red wine. <laughs> I have some at home already, but I like to just always have red wine. Um, and the red wine, you guys, I did not mention this before, but the red wine that I usually um, drink, I saw that it is probably the most healthy red wine that you can drink it is the josh um cabernet it has 
less than one gram of sugar y'all less than one gram of sugar it's low in calories so i have that usually nightly with it with my dinner but i only usually have like half of a glass or one glass with my dinner at night because it just allows me to wind down honestly and i don't really like hard liquor like that unless it's like a really really good mixed drink like you guys have, may have seen in my previous vlogs where i make that frozen um I make like a frozen cocktail with Appleton rum sometimes and that tastes really good but the red wine has been doing me really really well so I've been doing that but I like the red wine typically with my meal at night um and I don't do sweet wine at all if you don't like one um trick that I usually do um before I started drinking like more dry wines I, and sometimes even now, if I have like a little sweet tooth, I'll cut up some strawberries or some fruit of any kind. Typically, I love strawberries and I'll cut up strawberries and place it in my dry wine. Y'all, that is the best way to drink red, especially red wine, but you could also do this with a dry um, white wine, but I'll, I like red wine, but that's the best way to control your sugar intake while still having like a semi-sweet wine so I definitely encourage you guys to do that if you haven't tried it and you want something a little sweeter um, and I'll just usually I did it the other day matter of fact and I'll just eat the strawberries after my glass is finished like I love it and so anyway let's go into Walmart grab this flatbread and then we'll go back to the house and cook the flatbread and I'll I'll see how it tastes because I've never done this before. Well, I've um a couple years ago I made br um flatbread pizza with cauliflower. Um, I made cauliflower crust from scratch, and it was really good. That was like over ten years ago. But the thing is, it's not good to eat. <laughs> Like it's not good for leftovers. Cauliflower, broccoli, you guys already know. The smell is horrific, okay? So you don't want to eat those, um, you know, keep them overnight and eat those the next day. It just does not taste as good. Well, not my version anyway. I know when you go to like Mod Pizza, which is amazing by the way, Mod Pizza, you can choose a cauliflower crust, but for some reason I think they mix it up with something else to, you know, make it like a longer lasting pizza <laughs> versus when you're making it strictly from scratch just with cauliflower. So anyway, um, let me go inside here, run and get this flatbread really quickly. So this is all I'm seeing that is supposed to be kind of healthier or lower in carb, but it still has 23, it's not keto. And I'm not on keto, but I want the low carb. But this is cauliflower based. They do have a lot of cauliflower based already made pizzas, but I don't want that. So we're gonna go into Publix to see what they have. All right guys, so this Walmart trip was a fail. <laughs> so I was mistaken, oh, excuse me. I was mistaken, I thought I would see a lot of flatbread keto friendly and walmart but it was actually um it's actually the wraps that i see like the um gosh what do you call it like the like the wraps that i would normally see that are keto friendly and i'm not on keto not on keto but i do um embrace a lot of keto I guess like a lot of um but I do you know lo low carb so that's why I was looking for a keto option now to my surprise they have a lot of pizzas that are already made like in the freezer that are cauliflower based but when you look at the back it's like a whole lot of stuff on it a whole lot of processed whatever and so if I can control you know, everything outside of the bread being fresh and just homemade, I, I would prefer that versus me buying a pizza that's frozen, even though it's cauliflower based. They did have, um, they did have one um, flatbread pizza already kind of like 
in pizza form that I showed you guys in the previous clip that was cauliflower based but it was still 23 grams of carbs and don't get me wrong I haven't really done carbs today and I do have a carb goal every day but I try to stay within that or I'm, I'm trying to just keep it low carb okay like I'm trying to keep it low carb the carb that I do use I like to use it for energy so you know on days that I'm working out I may have more carbs than um than not but it's usually healthy carbs it's not usually um you know a bunch of junk processed sugar kind of carbs so I am um so I'm gonna go to Publix now headed to Publix to see what they have Publix usually has a better um they usually have different options sometimes than Walmart especially health you know when it comes to healthy foods I don't feel like the farmers market will have it but I'm really unsure I'm really not sure because this is not something that I've ever looked for at the farmers market but for some reason you know the farmers market that I go to is not the big farmers market here in the city the one that is really big which is called the cabs um, I think it's the cabs farm market farmers market that one is huge and it has pretty much damn near everything um it's probably about like 20 25 minutes away from where i live so it's not too far but i just didn't want to travel all the way out there just for some flatbread so what um i'll see what Publix has and hopefully they have something close if not then i may resort to doing just like pizza rounds on Ezekiel bread. I don't know. It's like... Y'all, oh, this is the last one. <laughs> the last one. So I'm gonna get that. All right, you guys, so I finally got the pita bread that I was looking for or the flat bread and I got the very last pack. I guess everybody is trying to get it together for the summer because that was the last carb, low carb flat bread pita bread um, that was in the store, which is crazy. So yes, I got everything I needed, the very last pack of keto bread, of low carb keto bread because I'm not on keto y'all I just want to make that very clear I'm not following a keto diet but I just wanted the keto bread so that it can be low carb Stay down, real nigga from the app, about to pay out Spending time wind down, what is take out? And when I'm in them walls, you feel it in your bones I've been on the road, this choke that I hold on your soul Got me making up for days out Got you singing tones till you laid out It feel like what we are never fade out Fade out, fade out, fade out I let it ride when I usually would have rolled out Baby, say This pita bread is an acquired taste, you guys it's not going to taste like your everyday pizza. It's just not. But this is the healthiest alternative other than making your own like cauliflower bread or something like that. I'm still the same. They gonna understand it one day. Yeah. Yeah. Told them that I get my Y'all, this pizza is so good. I definitely got another um pie. <laughs> Super good. I'm sending you away. You see that I'm still the same. Real one, I'ma never change my way. 